Hey everyone, it's been a couple of weeks since I did the video on the My Energy app. And one of the things that I noticed immediately was that the lack of the generation sensor on my system really hurts the way that the whole system works. Now, although it's optional and it says as much in the, vid in the instructions, uh, once the app's in place it's really not optional if you want to get the best out of it because only having one current sensor means that you can't tell uh, where the energy has been consumed versus what energy is being generated within the home. You can only tell what's coming in and out of the home. You can't do that differentiation, which means a lot of the information that you can get from the app just isn't possible. So, with this package here, I have my new current sensor. So let's check it out and get that installed. Now, okay, uh, this is a rather large box for the uh, current sensor, so what's going on? Well, actually, I had a little look on the My Energy website, and uh, a current sensor is £15 plus the postage, um, and the Eddy is £400, uh, but it comes with a current sensor, and I was going to buy one anyway, so uh, I just bought that purchase forward a little bit, uh, so I didn't end up with a current sensor clamp uh, hanging around doing nothing so I kind of saved myself some money in the long run I guess um, but it doesn't feel like it right now um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this current uh, sensor to add it into the Harvey unit which is already in place the Harvey unit has three CT clamp ports uh, the current uh, CT clamp uh, is using is being used for the um, uh, the the zappy to detect when energy is being exported from the home. I'm going to use the second port on the Harvey to attach to my incoming supply from my solar panels, so that we can then set that up to be registering the generation, and then we should get the application working uh, in its full glory, because then we'll be able to see exactly how much energy my solar is generating how much energy is being exported to the grid and how much energy therefore is being used by the house. So let's get into it and uh, see how easy this is to set up. So this is what we need, the CT clamp. Um, I would of course do a video on the Eddy um, but we'll need to get that all installed uh, before we can really talk about that. Um, but it was just going to replace our solar eye boost but we'll do that in another video um, for this video it's just this that we need and we need to put this in to our incoming uh, supply from our solar panels which is uh, near our consumer unit so because we've got the incoming mains coming into the consumer unit from the meter outside and we've got the solar coming uh, in uh, through the wall here, it makes sense to move the Harvey unit from its current position in the outside meter cabinet. Um, it would be too difficult to try and get the new inductive clamp wiring outside uh, because it would mean drilling holes and all sorts of things trying to get it into the cabinet. The, the Harvey's wireless anyway, so we may as well just mount the Harvey somewhere up here and then we can um, connect the CT clamps into the incoming mains uh, supply here and into the solar um, up there. So here's the Harvey, we've got the Harvey in and you can see uh, here um, the current uh, arrangement. We've got uh, the three CT uh, clamps, just uh, one, two, three. Um, so we've currently got this one measuring uh, output from the house or input fr from the grid. Um, and then we'll put the second one in here and that will then measure generation from the solar so that we'll be all set then. So, let's put it on the wall. when you find your, your neutral's not actually tight. Right, now we're just going to 
just got to cut this wire down. That was a bit of a mission. Whew. Um, now we've just got to cut this wire down and we should be able to configure it. I'm not sure that we might be able to get to do that today because it's uh, it's still raining. But if it stops raining we'll, uh, we'll carry on and uh, get it all finished up. Annoyingly, someone's pinched off with my cable strippers, so I'm using these blooming things. Grr. Right, now once that's all tested and working, we can clean that wiring up. But for now, we'll leave it like that and see if we've got it the way that we want it. Okay, so do you see what I didn't do there? I left the other CT clamp hanging uh, on the supply. So I had to take the consumer unit cover off again and place that on the incoming solar generation live wire. So um, that was a bit unnecessary, but um, I did that quickly and then we we're good to go. Right, okay, so what we need to do is just go into the menu and then we'll look at the um, settings, advanced, and then we want CT inputs, and that's the CT inputs for the Zappi, we don't want that. Um, we want uh, link devices, devices, Harvey, and then in there, you've got CT1, 2 and 3. So we're on CT2 for the degeneration. So we can go in there and we can see we've got all these options here. So gen, battery, internal load, monitor, AC battery. So what we want to do is we want to go back and do generation only. So now you can see we've got a new reading up here which is telling us how much energy is being generated by the solar which is zero and then we've got the information about how much is coming in on the grid and being consumed by the house. So now all we need to do is wait for some sunshine and we should be good to go. Um, everything looks good here. We'll check the app in a minute as well and we'll see if this starts to help the graphing. Um, it could still be something wrong with the iOS version of the app but um, let's go and have a look at that now. And there you go. So you can see now the app is registering generation from the solar and consumption by the house. So this is great because now we can see what's actually happening, how much the house is using, how much we're generating and how much we're exporting. Whereas before we could only see what was either being consumed by the house or exported uh, from the house. But we couldn't see um, how much energy was actually being generated by the solar when the house was consuming electricity because with that one sensor in place you can't delineate between the two things. So that's why you need the two sensors. And that's what makes the two sensors so useful when you have the app, because it gives you a lot more information. Anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll put the Eddie in in the next one.